In this video, we will start where we left off in part one of the bank reconciliation. We will talk about handling discounts in bank statements. Discounts can be granted to customers in the case of early payment, for instance, and we will also explain how you can manage bank fees, including VAT, directly from your bank statements. We will start with the discounts, because lots of companies give discounts to their customers uh, for early payment. So we have created an uh, open invoice to which we added a 2% discount payment term and we added a comment that the customer will receive 2% and I will print it to show you what it looks like. So if you open the invoice, you will see here the payment term and the comment that is printed on the invoice. We will create a new bank statement, just as we did before. We add the item and we can add discount as a reference, for instance. So we select our partner and we enter the amount that the customer has paid to us, $490. That is the amount of the invoice minus a discount of 2%. Now we will click Reconcile and select the corresponding invoice, which is this one. Because the amount is not exactly the same, we will click open balance we will add the expense account for instance as a label we can say that this is about a two percent discount and the amount is automatically proposed should this amount be incorrect you can always correct this yourself now click ok and click back to statement as you see, the invoice is now paid. We can also uh, cancel this line. We click Edit to show the journal items. And we see that we have the invoice of 490, a discount of 10, and the total of the invoice is 500. So if we close the statement, the system will tell you that your balance is not correct, which is indeed the case because I didn't add the ending balance. So this means that um, every time you close a statement, Odoo will check the difference between starting balance and ending balance according to the computed balance. If there is a difference, Odoo will not allow you to confirm your bank statement. So such control is very handy. So now we close the statement, we return to the customer invoice and we see that it is paid. If we open the invoice and we go to the payments tab, we see a payment of 500. And this payment is added to the statement. When we go to the journal entries, we see that we have in our bank an amount of 500, which is split in $10 to the expense account and 490 to the bank account. If you have uh, an invoice with VAT, your discount amount should decrease the VAT amount. And as you may have noticed in the reconciliation screen, you can add a VAT code as well, and then automatically your discount will correct your taxes.